What is good, Vibe Gang? It is your boy, Ray here, with another one. Oh, there's a little bit of Rage Rants. I'm just going to do a little tidbit of Rage Rants. I, I let go of this situation uh, the minute that I found out Benzino Ghost wrote. I, I just... I, I was, no, why well, not the minute? A little bit after the minute. <laughs> the Benzino... Uh, that I found out that Benzino was ghostwriting because, uh, you know who told me? You're not even gonna believe this. You're not even gonna believe this. Benzino. You damn sure did. Benzino opened his goddamn mouth <laughs> and fucked it up for everybody. <laughs> but now, he's at it again. He's on the loose, ladies and gentlemen. Benzino is out in Detroit going crazy right now. I, I, I had to go see what's going on. And, and, and <laughs> this is getting to the point already that this nigga is, is just trying to grab at straws at this point. He, he's just trying to hang on to the little bit of hip hop he got left. He, he's just trying to hold on to the little bit of fame that he got when he dropped rap, whatever the fuck was it that the song was. <laughs> Let's see what busy we got going on, man. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that. Federico, cut the beats. You like the intro? <laughs> I said I was going to do it short this time. A hundred thousand. I had to come in with, with a more professional intro. You already know what it is, man. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that. Benzino violates Eminem and pulls up to his mom's Detroit restaurant. To sh See how, you, how they misspelled it? To his mom's Detroit restaurant? Debbie don't own that shit. Like, comment, subscribe to all that. Benzino, it is on you. I'm here recording this. No chance moving here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chad gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chig's gonna be on YouTube with it, man. Man, who's... Shout out to Chig's, man. For the video. Shout out to Chig's. Man. Up there. Whatever you say, Chig's gonna be on YouTube with it, man. Man, who said Benzino is not about that action? Who said Big Zeno won't come to your crib, take your kid's pacifier at his mouth and smack the shit out of him? Then go to your granny's room, take her cane and beat her with it. Stop playing with Big Zeno, man. And all you people that's... Why that nigga keeps on calling him Big Zeno? <laughs> He's a bakeroni? He's like a fucking pizza roll? I love pizza rolls. You think I don't? That nigga's think I'm crazy. Yeah, I think I don't love pizza rolls. He called him a big ziti. That's what that nigga called him. I love pizza rolls. Facts. Go ahead, man. He's been joking out of him, calling him no neck Benzino. You better get ready, man. <laughs> I like how that nigga like that. He got no neck. His throat and chin. That's all he got. <laughs> oh, Benzino, why are you doing this to yourself, bro? Just leave it the fuck alone, bro. <laughs> Like, leave it alone for real. Like, it's getting stupid now. Now it's getting just corny. He just kept on going, though. Even after the nigga cried. That nigga backpedaled his head. Fuck that. <laughs> relentless, man. I'm telling you, it's relentless. It is relentless with this man, boy. All you people that has been joking out of him, calling him no neck Benzino. You better get ready. Benzino will see you soon. Hey, man, looks like right. Benzino is about that action. Now, after dropping a couple Eminem. Hey, because Elvis just got 273,000 views in a month. That's pretty good. For a nigga that don't got a YouTube page. Zeno is about that action. Now, after dropping a couple Eminem diss tracks, which, by the way, they weren't too bad. Ben Zeno said he was going to go to Eminem's restaurant called Mom's Spaghetti. Look, the niggas that wrote it for him did a very great job. The niggas that wrote it for him. Listen, when you're going at somebody, you got to come with your words, brother. You can't come out with somebody else's shit. There was, another, uh, there was an interview that somebody told me that he did to in some podcast and some shit. I don't know. But that man was talking about, he was talking like he was talking six months ago. <laughs> like he's just, like nothing happened. <laughs> Hold on, man. Benzino got to get right, boy. Got to get right. Imagine if, if Benzino puts all this energy that he's doing with this whole Eminem thing. Imagine if Benzino 
will put that much energy into into the culture, into just doing something for hip hop. Can you imagine me using that energy? That it go that he'll be the number one spokesperson for hip hop right now, even though he thinks he is right now. He really will be if he if he puts forth the effort. And I'm not saying make music, but make another source magazine. But this time, be legit about it. Because Eminem and Fifty took down the Shorts magazine, and I don't want to hear from nobody. They took it down. He went at M M said, "All right, I'm gonna take your company. I'm gonna destroy it." And what did he do? Have you have you bought? What was the last time you bought a Source magazine? Red Roof Inn. What the fuck is Benzino doing in Red Roof Inn? He owned the biggest, the biggest magazine for hip hop in the world. I know there's some haters down there, but I don't give a fuck. I said it. Benzino going to the jury and going to Mom's spaghetti is hilarious. That's petty to the tenth degree of pettiness. And I'm with the petty. I'm with petty a hundred percent, no matter who is going to, because I just love petty shit. But Benzino, did you call Trick Trick? Did you call Trick Trick? Do you know it's a no fly zone? In effect, like for like eighty years now. You have to call Trick Trick before you can go to Detroit, bro. And there's, and there's a little video of Trick Trick responding to Benzino going in Mom's Spaghetti in Detroit. Benzino's getting himself into situations that he's not going to be able to get himself out of. Man, I feel sorry for the dude. I feel sorry for the dude because if he can't see and his followers can't see, all 10 of them, if they can't see there's something really going on with this man, then there's something really going on with them too. And, they, and them as a unit need to go get counseling. These niggas are losing their minds right now, bro. In the in the interview, I should have reacted to the fucking interview. Because I, I didn't see it. Somebody was telling me about it. In the interview, Benzino was coming out. I talk about he wanted to battle Eminem. Like, dude, like, if he would have used that, it would have done something to Eminem. Or something to that effect. Why are you still talking about it? Why did you make a music video in Mom's Spaghetti for a, 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 a diss? Like, why? What was the whole purpose of that? You already said you didn't write it. You were just wasting time at this point. Eminem dropped a video farting. He gets a million views. This nigga got 273,000 in one month. That is not his page. <laughs> Benito is wildin', bro. Somebody better go get their grandpa. This nigga is out of his mind. I'm losing it. Did you, did you hear Benito that Eminem is dropping an album? Like, And I heard this nigga went to Detroit. When he knew Eminem and these niggas were over there in the West Coast. <laughs> That's a <the> perfect time. <laughs> you will see Royce was over there. Easy Mill was over there. 50 was over there. Dre and all of them. Snoop. They were chilling. They were working. They were doing something for the culture. You know, I ain't doing something for the culture. Too. Hold on. And do something for the coach too. How that nigga go go ahead necklace? That shit will go all around his shoulders. <laughs> Cause he got a big head. It's not like he got a small head. That's what happened. His head weight finally made his neck go and suck itself in. <laughs> oh my god, Benzino, I could roast you all day, dog. It's Saturday, bro. I got we gonna about to go to the movies. In about an hour, so I got about a good 30 minutes to talk shit. You people that's been <laughs> joking at him, calling him no neck Benzino. You uh -huh. better get ready. Benzino will see you soon. Hey man, looks like Benzino is about that action. Now, after dropping a couple Eminem diss tracks, which by the way, they weren't too bad. Benzino said he was going to go to Eminem's restaurant called Mom Spaghetti in Detroit and shoot a music video there. Now, obviously, when you see this statement from Benzino, you think, all right, bro, this guy is probably trolling us there's no way after having a long-standing beef with eminem for decades that he's no I, I, I absolutely i absolutely believed that he was gonna go to detroit and do that i absolutely believed 
Absolutely. But he was just waiting for the proper time to do it. He was trying to wait until until my man M was and nobody affiliated was around. That nigga did it at at at, at right early in the morning <laughs> when the birds were chirping. They said that he walked in and the birds were chirping. It was early, early. <laughs> All them thugs are sleeping. They could have been up since 4 o'clock in the morning in the block. They at home sleeping at that time, brother. Ain't nobody there. Then they had security, which it, it doesn't matter what anyone thinks. If you're, if you're a famous person, you need to have security around you. Because there's a lot of crazy people out here. And there's people that you that take this social media shit to the heart. Like, they believe that. When Bezito says, fuck the stands, they really believe that he's talking to him specifically. And then it's going to come out and, you know, this people are fucking crazy, bro. For real. So I believe anybody with a little bit of fucking fame needs to have some type of something. Either on them or around them that's going to protect them because people out here are nuts. That being said. Wasn't it, wasn't the picture that I saw in one of the thumbnails, wasn't it a cop that nigga was rolling with? I thought he was a thug. Why are you rolling with cops? I guess we're going to find out. Uh, there's no way after having a long-standing beef with Eminem for decades, that he's actually going to go to Detroit, pull up to his restaurant and I shoot a music video it. and walk out without a couple bullet holes. Even Royce the 5'9 thought Benzina was joking when he confirms he would pull up, but looks like Benzina... <laughs> Say you ain't gonna come over here. He dead, Royce. What you gonna do about you? Royce, go call your people, man. Go call your people, man. Go call Trick Trick. What Trick Trick at? Uh, I need to find the video of the Trick Trick. Yo, if you guys want me to keep on following this, let me know and just send me the clips that you want me to react to of, of so we can follow this whole situation until Eminem drops. Let's do that. Because I, 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 I was slacking on it because... When it was a battle thing, it was one thing, and then it started going to something completely different, and I kind of just weed myself off of it. I was just like, man, that's just corny. Like, I'll bring it up here and there, but I'll, I'm not going to sit here. But now this man, this man did something uh, astronomical. That's a new word. Astronomical. He, he did something crazy. <laughs> he pulled up to Detroit, like he said he was going to do. This is the first time that Benzino said he was going to do something, and he actually did it. But let's look at the circumstances. They told me that kid behind that fucking counter, that kid didn't even know who the fuck it was. <laughs> well, he, according to what they said, he said it. The kid said he didn't even know who the fuck it was. Benzino. Kmart is always hiring. Like, I don't even understand why this nigga acting like there's no money out here. Five nine thought Benzino was joking when he confirms he would pull up, but looks like Benzino actually did it. He actually goes to the restaurant, <laughs> and then when he's leaving, he steals the restaurant sign, and then disrespects the restaurant by throwing the food on... Look, if my grandfather ever would do some stupid shit like that, I'm gonna have to sit down with him. I'm gonna talk to him, because this is too much. It's too much. Hey, Grandpa, you took your medication? Sit your ass down. What are you doing? We're making yourself look crazy out here. You used to own the source, Grandpa. <laughs> that nigga Benzino said in the interview, he had millions of dollars. He used to have millions of dollars. If I had millions of dollars, I'd give it. He was talking crazy in that interview, man. They were telling me this nigga was saying all types of crazy shit. They're repeating himself over and over again, like what he did when this whole thing started up again. We gotta watch the video. If somebody can find a video, man, I'll do that one next. But, brother, the Marshall Mathers Foundation. That's all you have to fucking look up. It's called the Marshall Mathers Foundation. It's for the city of Detroit. It's a charity for the city of Detroit. Oh, are we losing our fucking minds over here? Uh, is, is this the Twilight fucking zone? Royce the Five Nine was talking about it in an interview. You telling me you didn't see the interview? You heard what he said. Now it, it, it makes sense. He's old. He's losing his fucking hearing. Why are we out here acting like there's not proof out there that Eminem has done more for Detroit than Benzino has done for hip hop? Period. Oh, Benzino, me. 
the Source magazine was already there. Benzino came in and gave it a little street cred. That's all he did, give a little street cred, and people going to listen to it because he's a so-called gangster. And I'm not going to doubt that he is probably a gangster. But if gangsters act like that, do you really want to be a gangster? Because if you guys are saying, oh, these niggas, he's a gang, he's real from the streets, and all this other shit, and all, that's cool. But look how he's acting, dude. Is, is that something that I want? No. I don't want to be looking crazy out here like this, nigga. Uh, pooey. <laughs> pooey, I say. There goes my blood pressure. I, 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 it's, the, it's out there. The proof is fucking out there. There's no other debating it. There's not questioning it or any, it, it's out. The facts are out there. Benjamin, no, pray that God that the Eminem does not mention you. And maybe the reason why Eminem didn't answer it, maybe it's because he knew he was dropping an album. And he'll mention it there. Because like I always say, Eminem mentions it or talks about you in his music. But you think Eminem, one of the reasons Eminem probably doesn't in, do, does a lot of interviews is because he doesn't want to spend the whole interview talking about other dumb niggas. So he just stays away from them. Until he could go to a controlled one when he knows that these are the questions that you're not going to be asking me. Because I don't want to give this nigga no more light. Say, you, I, I didn't help you grow. Don't, don't put me and say I didn't help the whole entire culture grow. Because that's stupid. Eminem has given you your whole career from 25 years ago is Eminem's career. Yo, you're not understanding that? You're a big part of Eminem's discography. You're a big part of Eminem's story. You injected yourself into a man's legacy. And that's the only fame you're always going to get because once Eminem says, I am done with it and I'm not going to answer back, you're going to start looking desperate, not like you don't already look desperate, but you're going to look even more desperate. How am I 39 and I'm, and, my, and I'm talking to a sissy old fucking man like he has no sense? I think it's, that's, he, that is cornball vibes. That's what he's got, cornball vibes. And I and I still, in my, in my heart to heart, I know niggas don't like M. I know niggas don't like M. I understand. They don't like M. Cool. But some of y'all niggas that don't like M are having this nigga's back, and it's making y'all niggas sound crazy. Y'all don't understand that. Y'all sound crazy out here. And that's a fact. I said, I said Eminem, I put a post up, Eminem is dropping. Oh, I, I don't give a fuck about no Eminem. And then nigga, then I wasn't talking to you. But you had to make that comment to let your, your presence know how much you don't like Eminem ever since he sold his soul. When the fuck did he do that? Can someone explain to me when was an Eminem sold his soul? Please? So, this is the argument. And that, since I'm on YouTube and I got 100,000 followers, shout out to all of y'all niggas. This is the two people that I meet that do not like Eminem. The black people because of information that is given by people like Benzino. And then I have the white people. The Eminem did a line in the sand, and they lost their fucking mind. Those are the two haters that Eminem has. The racial one, and then the one that says that he sold his soul to get his fame. There, there was one there, and there, uh, a person put up there, Eminem wore a dress. So did Eddie Murphy. So did Kevin Hart. Keenan and Cal. Martin Lawrence. Will Smith. 
So what are you saying? Is that the reason why he sold his soul? Because if you have to wear, because this whole thing out there saying that if a artist, a specific artist, especially black African American actors or musicians, in order for them to be accepted through that threshold to become a super megastar, they have to abide by certain rules. And if they, if they one of the rules is the black African American actor, rapper, whatever, has to wear a dress, that means they're into this little whatever. The, the selling the soul part of everything, right? For the money. Cool. Or is it because the everybody that I mentioned is talented in their own field, and they and they and they they're successful because they're successful. Now I'm not saying that in the industry ain't no fucking crazy shit going on in there because there is. There is, but I think that we, we look too deep into this shit and, and try to grasp that straws to make our point. And we're making ourselves look completely stupid because in a court of law, your logic will not stand up. If we take this to court, Benzino's logic and the people that follow Benzino and all the Eminem haters out there will lose on trial because they have no fact on anything. Everything is hearsay. And we and we we can't use this to prove our point in front of the judge. What else do you have of Eminem that we could really use in court? What? When he was six years old, he made a racist tape. Have you ever heard besides that tape? Have you ever were heard from that point on Eminem say the word nigga? There's a there's video out there of Eminem uh, performing with, with I think Proof, and there was a part in the song that it, I think it's the hook that says the N word, right? And, and Eminem was saying it. But how about we think about it like this? How about we were he was just in the moment. The crowd was hyped. Everybody was hyped. It was a very hype moment, and he just let loose. And you know what's crazy? He said the word nigga in front of a whole bunch of black people. And he didn't get fucked up. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? Isn't that crazy? Oh. So now you're, that other point is not valid. He was in Detroit when when that concert was going on. There was a whole bunch of black people there. I ain't seen that not in there. No, no, no. Not one of them. And that also defeats the point of you saying that black people don't listen to Eminem. There you go. That's a twofer. Uh, you fucking idiot. Let's go back to the video. Mr. Five Nine thought Benzino was joking when he confirms he would pull up, but looks like Benzino actually. You already knew what you're gonna get when you get to this page to see this fucking thing, bro. And like I said, the next clip you guys want me to react to, put it down below. And I'll do it. I'll do it Monday. Fuck it. Fuck it. He did it. He actually goes to the restaurant, and then when he's leaving, he's. Yo, we had a hundred thousand, dude. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. They said seven days. They're gonna send me my claims code. So like that, I could go ahead and and apply for the for the plaque, and then they're gonna check to see if all my the monetizations or not the monetization, but they have to go check my uh if I got any strikes or if I got any this or any that, and that's how they judge who's gonna get the plaque or not. And I may not get the actual plaque because I do have a lot of copyright claims on my shit because I do reaction videos of other people's music, so I may not get it. So I'm not. I don't. I, I. I would love to get the plaque. Don't get me wrong. I would love to get the plaque because that's just something to show that of what I did, or what we did. I would love to get it, but that's not the important part. The important part is what I'm doing now. So I. It's a fifty-fifty shot whether if I if I'm gonna get this plaque or not. But I. What do I want it? Absolutely, I want it. Do I need it? Not really. Not really. I'm good. I'll be ha I'm happy. I hit a hundred thousand. That number, when you go to my page, is is what's important. I have a hundred thousand vibe gang members. I started with one. Now we got a hundred thousand strong. That's dangerous. A hundred thousand motherfuckers that think just like me is nuts. <laughs> it's crazy. Put us all in one room. See what the fuck happens. Somebody getting fucked up. <laughs>
And Zeno actually did it. He actually goes to the restaurant and then when he's leaving, he steals the restaurant sign and then disrespects the restaurant by throwing the food on the floor after trying it once. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Who's your favorite rapper, man? That nigga didn't even know who it was. He think it's, uh, he was singing the song in the background. He's in the register. Like, uh, and then what I also heard, because I was reading, I, I read a lot. I read a lot of what is going on with this, but I haven't seen any video footage or anything like that. But what I also read was that the kid didn't even know who the fuck he was, right? So the kid didn't know who the fuck he was, but because Eminem pretty much told the people that work there, treat my fans good, you know, within reason. Let them, do, you know, if they want a picture, if they want this or they want that, give it to them. So there was like a restriction. So his job is to, if this guy wants to take a picture with him behind the counter saying, hey, we're at Eminem's mom's spaghetti. This is one of the workers. Ah, he's thinking it's an innocent picture with a, with a fan of Eminem. So he's going to go with it. That nigga posted. I didn't even know who he was, to be honest with you. <laughs> you obviously know who Eminem is because you work there. But you don't, you not knowing who Benzino is, is kind of crazy. I'm not saying the kid's lying, but I'm just saying if you work at Eminem's Mom's Spaghetti, it, and it probably is... Just because you work there doesn't mean you're an Eminem fan. That means you got a fucking job and you're getting a check every week or two weeks or higher is it you get paid. So I'm not saying that the kid is an Eminem fan, but the kid knows who the fuck Eminem is. That's that's our almost certainty that he knows who Eminem is. He probably is just not following this bullshit. That's probably what it is. And... To get to let you know the truth, man. I, I talk to a lot of people outside of this shit, and when I when I, that subject comes up, they don't even know who Benzino is. So it, it's because you, you you're just looking. Your your fame is 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 through clout chasing. You clout chased you clout chase. The fuck out of Eminem for 20 something years. That niggas are acting like because you don't just started talking shit about Eminem. This man has been talking shit about Eminem throughout the whole 20 years. He'll stop sometimes, but then he'll come back up. He'll stop sometimes and then he'll come back up throughout 20 something years. That's obsession. That to me is an obsession. You're gonna keep on bringing up. You already admitted he beat you before. What the fuck makes you think he can't beat you now? I'm having this conversation out loud is because I'm trying to make it make sense to myself. But my common sense doesn't let me, you know, fall for the stupidity. That's a cop. That's a whole cop. Benzino, that's a cop. You call the cops to protect you? Why did you call the cops to protect you, though? I thought he was a thug. I thought he was from the street for real, for real. He's not from the street for real, for real. I thought niggas from the street for real, for real. Like, I understand hiring security. And I know that sometimes security, sometimes are, are sometimes full-time cops. I, I, I get that. Um, but there's not like a firm that you could have called that you had nothing to, that you could have just not even contacted the police. Can you get a security that people, you know, that, that were in the military and shit like that, they know what they're doing, but they're not police officers, just security to protect you. Couldn't you just go get that? Isn't it free if you call the cops and tell, hey, I need some security, I'm, I'm a famous ma magazine owner? What is he? Rapper? Okay, so we'll use rapper. I'm a famous rapper, and I need security because I'm doing a music video. I think I don't think they charge that much. I think it's like like a like hundred bucks, hundred bucks for an hour. How long are you gonna be there? Five minutes. <laughs> oh, nigga, Fine, it's once. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Who's your favorite rapper, man? This just thing. That nigga did an answer. <laughs> that nigga did an answer. He's like, I don't want to answer that. <laughs> like, 
Not at all. There's a lot of thugs wanting to see take pictures with Eminem. <laughs> Who's your favorite rapper, man? This just ain't no one-time thing. Every time I come to the D, motherfucker, Big Ben hold me down. Oh, yeah. All right, Grizzly, put that yeah. thing on you. I think that's his job, though. Like, his job is to hold down the city of Detroit because he's a cop. I don't think he wants a problem, so. I mean, that's a good idea to get a cop, too. The D motherfucker big bear hold me down. Oh, yeah. All right, Grizzly, put that yeah. thing on you. For real. <laughs> yeah, if he feels assaulted, he feels like it. Because if you assault an officer, and you come at an officer with a gun, especially with a gun, he's going to light you up. That's that's an absolute fact. So he's correct in what he's saying. He, Grizzly is your name, sir? Uh, Grizzly is going to light you up because he's a cop. Put that yeah. thing on you. For real. Not a good look. <laughs> and the only reason it's not a good look is because he's a thug. I thought the whole thing was cops and thugs don't mix very well. Because you do illegal shit. If you that's what I thought. You're not a street nigga? I thought you were street nigga. My bad. I'm sorry. Because you know he went to church right across the street from the uh from the Red Roof Inn. <laughs> Took his boyfriend with him. Put that thing on you. For real. Frozen spaghetti. Hell, man. Love it all. Nigga Benzino. Benzino. Uh oh. He inside. That nigga did the jail pose. Oh. That nigga's gonna post that shit on his wall. That nigga got down with it. Oh, hey, M. That nigga dropped it like an eagle for you. <laughs> hold on. That nigga, well, hold on. Look at the moves, though. You can tell he's in good shape. <laughs> the craziest part, you know what the funniest, craziest part about the whole thing is? The money that came out of his pocket to pay for that's going to M. <laughs> the money that he paid to pay for that spaghetti <laughs> is going to M in his pocket eventually. <laughs> It'll be cool having him be like, yo, whatever he paid with, I need it. I'll replace it with my money. I need it. And then he just starts burning it in, in, his, in a music video. <laughs> that nigga paid Evan Ed for some spaghetti. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious, man. Evan Ed did eat. You see how the sun is just getting up? <laughs> we did what we needed to do, man. We good. We out of here. That's a fact. Get out of there quick. Look at them niggas in the corner. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> you better watch it with them niggas. Them niggas about to go trick trick. You better run. Stop playing with these niggas. <laughs> My nigga shooting where y'all here shooting. Hey, it's over. We did video. everything we needed to do. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, hey, I'm gonna name this. Hold on. Hey, you got curtain calls. You got Eminem. So that's a diamond album. Yeah, you, that's a good thing that you're looking at all the all the stuff that Eminem has contributed to hip hop while saying that Eminem didn't contribute nothing to hip hop. That was a good shot. My nigga shooting where y'all here shooting. Hey, it's over. We did everything we needed to do. Zeno. We good now. Hey, hey, hey I'll call y'all. Call me y'all get to this. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then they can put it right back. <laughs> oh, they can put it right back. You think he left with it? No, he didn't leave with it. <laughs> he put it back. It was just for a clip that he needed to show. I'm taking the sign with me. And then the lady was like, sir, you need to put that back. Can somebody please get in, grandfather? He cannot be vandalizing the property because now it's, that that's illegal. You need a restraining order, man. That's what the fuck you need, bro. This man can't talk anywhere 50 feet from you. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. 
Now to me, he disrespected the spaghetti. He already got the money for it. <laughs> Who gives? Like he don't give a shit what to do with it. That was just that's the equivalent of, of back in 1999 when all these people bought a bunch of Eminem albums and ran over them. That's the equivalent. He already got your money. He doesn't give a fuck what you do with the spaghetti, my brother. I'm pretty sure he's good with it. Uh, and that's littering, if you really think about it. And the cops that are around you should be giving you a ticket. <laughs> now, to me, this is a gangster move. Nobody ever thought Benzino would have the nuts to actually do this. There's so many goons in Detroit that they would have Benzino cleaning their shoes afterwards. Now, even though I am giving Benzino props, I thought it was pretty hypocritical after you were just crying on Drink Champs, begging Eminem that's and saying that you want to squash the beef, you bet. Facts! That's a fact! But it's the reason is because Eminem was not in Detroit, and neither was his people. Eminem is not only... I'm, I'll almost guarantee Eminem is not going from Detroit all the way to California with no security. So I'm pretty sure that there was nobody affiliated, directly affiliated with Eminem around there when you went and did it. He put the right spot. He knew that he was out there doing the whole Jimmy Kimball thing and the whole um, the, the, the the Hollywood Walk of Fame with Dr. Dre. You know, he was doing all that. They were, they were promoting the best. He saw that he was doing it, and then all of a sudden he just showed up in Detroit. I've heard of coincidences before, man, but come on. That just looks planned as fuck. He automatically just... He put, he put the fuck... He put, put out the diss track a month ago. Why didn't he go to Detroit and do the music video and just drop the music video of the diss track in Mom's Spaghetti? Then that would have been gangster. That would have been the way to do it. Because you went to Detroit when no one knew if Eminem was there or not. So you were taking a chance. Why did you wait a whole month to come up with a music video? Nigga, they, he's recording with a Nokia phone. Don't tell me shit about you. They need to get shit ready. You need to get a flight and you need to get your camera crew which is probably niggas that you know and need a paycheck. So they're going to do it. All you needed. There was no prep in what I just saw right now. That didn't look like there was no prep at all. There was a random nigga ordering when you were recording. So that's crazy it's by itself. And then you want to call about it. You want to say that was genuine. No, nigga, that was broke. Can't afford to do anything more than that. Out of here, you were just crying on drink champs, begging Eminem and saying that you want to squash the beef. You backtracked your statements about him not belonging in hip hop. These people are laughing at us. Come on, man. I love Dave Mays. I love everybody. Really? I got pride too. I didn't want to go out like a sucker. No, I didn't. I love everybody, man. Eminem ain't no bad person. No, he's not. He belongs in hip hop. It's absolutely. It's a big racist problem in America right now, and Eminem could probably stop stop half of it. Do you want to squash the beef with Eminem? You see? But the, hold on. Hold on. That's a fact. That is a fact. But look what happened when he did. He got hate for it. So, the, when he was... Talk about Trump and and all that stuff, the, the freestyle. He got nothing but hate for that from the from the white side. So that's what I'm saying. It goes right back to it's either this or that. Both ends are gonna hit him. So he that's what he says. When I zigged, I should have zagged. He was doing something that he thought that it was going to show his support to the whole Black Lives Matter movement. So the whole situation was going on with the cop killing and all that other stuff. With, with the cops killing uh, African Americans and all that stuff. He thought he, what he was doing was right for the right reasons. And then people wanted to take it as a political thing. And that's cool because, of course, he mentioned Trump. So, of course, you have to go with the politics of it. But you're acting like that was new. Eminem did the same shit to Bill Clinton, the same shit to George Bush, the same shit. Come on, he was he was doing that to all the presidents. He does it to Trump now is different. 
Do you understand he's been talking shit about Trump for years before he was a president? Now all of a sudden you butt hurt? <clears throat> the moment the Eminem dropped that shit, this country was still in shit. Trump was president and it was still in shit. It was not after a couple of months of his fuckery, of Trump's fuckery, that Trump actually started doing shit to help. He was going off of what was going on at that moment. People want to get butthurt. Don't matter. Don't listen to him. Hate Eminem. When I hate something, I just don't talk about it. Right? Why am I going to go on and on the comment section and write some stupid shit about somebody? No. I'm going to say it here. And if Benzino was in Florida and I'll go over there, I'll go over there. I'm not scared of Benzino. I'm not scared of any of these niggas. But I'm not going to keep my mouth shut when the stupidity just starts overwhelming me of the stuff, the stupid shit that people say about this whole situation. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. The, 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 the shit that comes out of people's mouth that is not fully educated on Eminem's full background. Yeah, Bazzino was a thug. Eminem's not a thug. Never said he was. He is a crazy motherfucker, though. He's got a couple of felonies. He's gone to prison a couple times. And he bailed the fuck out. You know why? Because he's Eminem. He got the money to do it. To make you a thug, you stay in prison a little bit longer? Is that the... I know, I know two niggas right now that wish they got bail money. This is, this is just... This right here is the reason why. The reason why the hate will never stop. It's the erratic actions of people that just want to get that fame <laughs> acting a fool for no reason you know, yes you're getting views and you're getting people talking about you and your name is, is is sparking shit here and there that's cool and that's what he wants so he's getting what he wants he's getting all the accolades of being famous everybody's name is out your mouth so congratulations on that, but you know, you made it. But the way your name is coming out of people's mouths is not the way a lot of people want it. I don't want to be known as an old fool that does crazy, stupid shit at an old age. 60 years old, he's four years from retirement, so stop playing with me in certain, in some states. I think they can raise it up to 70. I don't need a 70-year-old making my chicken, nuggets, my, my chicken nuggets. I don't. <laughs> it's a big racist problem in America right now, and Eminem could probably stop, stop half of it. Do you want to squash the beef with Eminem? This nigga's not a superhero, bro. Like, he's not. He's a rapper. Y'all niggas are asking way too much from this dude. You're asking way too much from this dude, bro, for real. He's a rapper. Why are you going to Eminem for your political views? Why are you going to Eminem for the racist problem? He is a rapper. Do you see anybody going to Flavor Flav and asking him who you think should be president? No. Because who gives a fuck what Flavor Flav thinks? Same way, who gives a fuck what Eminem believes in? I don't care. <laughs> and they could go rap. That's it. Eminem could probably stop, stop half of it. Do you want to squash the beef with Eminem or do you not, Benzino? Listen, I'm all for the fuck shit. You just got to let us know which direction you want to take this in. Now, you guys got to tell me in the comments below, man. Is this a corny move or is this respectable? He pulled up to Eminem's restaurant in Detroit. And then he also pulled up to several hoods there as well. Listen, I don't know what Eminem is going to do to retaliate, but you guys... Where's the videos of that? Where's the videos of him pulling up in the hood? I, isn't Mom Spaghetti? Where's my, Where's Mom Spaghetti located at in Detroit? In the is it like in like downtown Detroit, like in the city area, where there's like a lot of offices, office buildings and shit like that? Is it there or is it is it Mom Spaghetti like tucked away in the hood somewhere? 
Because I'm pretty sure like it's in downtown Detroit. That's not the hood. That that's that's where people go to work. Where where's the video of of, of Benzino going to the hood? Why we have why we haven't seen those? Or is it out? Put it down below. We got it. I want to see it. It's there as well. Listen, I don't know what Eminem is gonna do to retaliate, but you guys know there's one Nothing. crazy M effort that's always overprotective of Eminem, and that's 50 Cent, aka Curtis Jackson. Once he gets a hold of this, it's war, Benzino. You guys get in the comments below. Squats my channel, like this video. I'll see you guys later. The, 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 the one thing, the one thing that. That, hey guys, shop with my boy Chick Smooth at chicksmooth. I don't like the way you did that right there. I don't buy shit when you grow up like that. No, <laughs> relax with that head. Shop. Listen, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be 100 percent with you, man. I honestly think that Eminem should not say nothing no more. He, because if Eminem says anything, he's just adding more fuel to the flame. So, I mean, that's just, it's just going to be an ongoing thing if Eminem says anything. Let's just, let's just be happy. Eminem is confirmed that he is dropping an album. And it's confirmed that the album is done because they were to Dre shit in the listening party. It was, a, it was a listening session they were having. So I guess the album is done. <coughs> they were just listening it over front to back. And it's just a waiting game when he's going to drop it. Is it? They said 2024. So is it this month? Is it next month? Is it the ending of 2024? I don't know. But something to be waiting for. And guess who's reacting to everything? This nigga. Facts. Uh, every song is going to be reacted to by me. <laughs> That's a fact. But honestly, I think I think M should just leave it alone. I think he should just do his thing. I hope he just did his thing on that album and, and not bring his name up anymore because you saw what happened when you brought his name up once. And you bring it up in an album and forget about it. This guy's going to think he's a fucking superstar and then we're going to start seeing the Xeno only fan pages popping up. I don't want to see none of that shit. They already got Drake ass over here thinking dick pics. Like, you know, it's crazy. It's crazy shit. And don't think that that song is not. I'm not. I heard K Dot went in. Oh, we doing that on Monday. That's a fact. I love you guys. I'm gonna get ready. We're about to go see the Ghostbusters, and I'm gonna talk to you guys on Monday. Peace.